The world is full of people everywhere you go. I'm a people, you're a people. What do people know? They know how times are fasting and traffic jams are slow. And the world is full of people, people everywhere you go. The story begins in 2001 mm -hmm. when the council decided uh, to set aside some money from the rent that tenants pay mm -hmm. to try and make a difference to uh, crime and antisocial behaviour. Yeah, I mean, when we first started, there was a bit of hostility from the estates, especially from the youths on the estates who were shouting at us. Uh, we were shot out with plastic pellet guns when we first started. Mouth, bang, bang! I actually did the launch of the Rangers' uh, office here in uh, Amesbury Avenue, and, of course, as I go around the locality, I often bump into them, so I actually see them at work, and I think they're a fantastic uh, group of people uh, doing an absolutely invaluable job. The uh, Stratham Hill Rangers have been with us for a fair while now and uh, we find that it's handy that we can task them to keep an eye on certain things which are happening. They're an extra set of eyes and ears for us on the street. Beginning of last December, I was able to uh, use them as a, a useful stop when the bishop came to interview me for the day, and I had to find things to stop him talking to me. So I, one of the things was to take him to Streatham Rangers. <laughs> okay. I think he was quite impressed with the um, with the way that they run, and the fact that they are a sort of policing influence without with, without people fearing them or having antagonism towards them. There is a scheme for junior rangers as well. Well, I have that's based <laughs> in uh, one of our uh, local schools, Stratton Welsh School, and I think that's uh, a really great idea. And they have a little uniform, <laughs> and they're going to walk around with the uh, rangers, and I understand that the rangers are going to be based in the school during the school holidays as yes. well. And they're not only, of course, linked to Stratton Welsh School, mm -hmm which is uh, one of the very good schools in this locality, but also Hitherfield School, which is a very good school. So I'm really pleased to see the Rangers developing those relationships. Well, they taught us quite a lot before Christmas on how to keep our houses safe and stuff. One, they told us to keep our things safe and hidden, because one day when I was walking down the street, there was two boys that were that asked, asking me if I had any valuable things. I think the Rangers are a good idea, because like, when they tell us about how we can keep safe around our, around all the places we live and where we go. There's somebody out there to help us if we do have, have any problems. So I think it's a really, really excellent idea. And the community rangers that have been into Streatham Wells are very, very good, very knowledgeable. And um, I couldn't ask for better. I've recently been working with um, one of our local schools, mm -hmm. secondary schools. Mm -hmm. They've been experiencing problems around um, school by robberies. A lot of our students don't really feel safe in the local area, particularly going to and from school in the morning and in the evening. And we've had a number of muggings. I mean, yesterday, for example, after school, there were four muggings down the road there. If there's certain hotspots, um, we will be around there patrolling, especially things like uh, Dunraven School, where there's um, lots of kids at the moment being uh, mugged for mobile phones, mini iPods and stuff like that. The great thing about the Rangers is that we can help the students develop a sense that we're working together as a community to combat crime and, and promote safety. The Rangers are, are wonderful. It's the best thing that could have happened. Uh, they have the time and the aptitude, I think, to, to be more than just people keeping order. Mm -hmm. uh, they're bringing life and, and, I think the word I'd use was hope, into the community. I left my keys in the door overnight and they found them in the morning and knocked on the door and told me that my keys were still in the door. <laughs> They all seem to be extremely uh, nice, friendly, open people, and I'm sure that's a kind of qualification for uh, for becoming a ranger. How's your mum? She's very good, oh. you know. She's doing well. He's a mummy's boy, you know. Me? That's why I like him. The world is full of people, people all the time. I'm a people, you're a people. What do people find? They find life might be long now That years they've got could grow And the world is full of people People everywhere you go uh, 
Uh, this is the um, this is Hillside Road, and the alleyway is there, which is kind of known as Muggers Alley to the local area. This is the Bermuda Triangle. Okay. I'm here. Stephen's there and Michael's there. <laughs> so we look after everybody. <laughs> We are waiting for them to come and fix it. In the red garage, there's a guy who's um, homeless, who's living in there, uh, an agency in Clapham, where they offered him housing and stuff, and he wasn't supposed to be putting back, but the house, the gar um, garage still smells a lot of excrement. We've got to take a picture here, all the graffitis which offends kids and parents. And here you can see the results. And then we're going to email to the appropriate department. Um, I just want to report the big tree falling over in uh, Hillside Gardens because yeah, it, it is a health risk really. Kids can play in it and get themselves. Yeah. Yeah. On the back of your phone, yeah. that is where we write your house number and your postcode so that the police can check it for you. I know certainly in, in this particular area, um, burglary has really drastically reduced okay. since the warden started patrolling. I think that's that kind of visible presence, yes, yes. that deterrent yes. effect. OK, we're nearly there. Could you come down, Ma'am, I'm from the They've brought them downstairs and living there. I mean, we've heard that someone's getting threatened with the sledgehammer. They come, come over from Spain, you know, it's scum. OK, look, there's a mad guy broken the window of a hunt. Yeah, there's just been a, basically an incident here. These guys here have uh, basically come over from Spain um, and they're squatting in uh, one of the flats downstairs. Um, the guy upstairs owns, owns the property uh, and has basically tried to get them out, I think, with a sledgehammer. I come in the morning, I just leave. I need the house, I need the house in London. I, in London I have sent the job. Yes, no, actually, it's not his house. It's, uh, he lives upstairs, he's a, he's a leaseholder. So he's really got no right to be checking him off. Not really, I mean, he, he probably just doesn't like it because they're, they're underneath him. I mean, people do a job, but they do a job. But they, they, they do more than a job. They, they give us confidence, give me confidence, and it gives me a nice feeling to know that they're there. Personally, I have absolutely no doubt, you know, that the Rangers and the wardens, neighbourhood wardens, as they're known uh, elsewhere, absolutely the best thing this government's done. They are fantastically <laughs> popular. Once they're in place, nobody ever wants to let them go. Uh, it is a great scheme, it's a great idea, and I just pay tribute to, you know, all of the uh, people who have made it such a fabulous success. These guys have done a lot of good down here. They've cleaned up Ainsbury Avenue, they've looked after the residents, They've done a hell of a lot. And I have to thank them. Yeah. I have to thank them very much. The world is full of people. People tend to be. I'm a people, you're a people. What do people see? They see smokestacks and oil spills and love their children so.